Hey hi all, in this video we will be discussing about after triggers. As you can see on the screen, uh, we have a trigger. The trigger name is account trigger and it is on account object with an event uh, with, a, with events of like after insert and after update. In this we are trying to create a contact record as soon as the account record is created and the last name of that particular contact will be uh, the account name and account id will uh, account id on contact will be mapped to the to the account which is created or which is inserted and in the second uh, use case uh, we are trying to update the phone numbers on all the contacts or on all the related contacts of that particular account if the uh, if the account phone number is changed from the last value which was saved so for an example uh, as we can see the code so we we are just checking first the context variable like uh, if the trigger is after and if it is insert operation then the trigger is called on insert dml operation then uh, we are just getting all the trigger dot new list and then we are just assigning the contact last name as the account name and contact account id will be the account type which we are inserting now and if the size of that particular list is greater than g zero then only we will insert that contact so this is very simple and uh, this is uh, can be asked in an interview question like if we want to create uh, a task when an opportunity is inserted or opportunity is updated so in the same uh, this can be uh, referenced and can be used to write the code for that use case then we have uh, update the phone number on all related contact records so in this we have just uh, use the is update uh, context variable if, if if there is any update in the account record and uh, in this we are just checking if the old value and the new value are same first of all if the trigger dot old map should not be null means it's the update operation then only the old map will have some value and then we are checking if account phone number is not equal to is not equal to the old phone number value if it is uh, different from the uh, prior value or the previous value then we will just uh, populate that in this particular map and then we will check uh, like which all contacts have this account id because all that uh, contacts needs to be updated with the latest phone number so we have just implemented this logic in this like uh, we have just created the contact instance uh, and then we are just uh, means, uh, relating it to the ID so that it will get the, that particular contact ID and then we are just finding the key value in that particular map account ID's phone number should be mapped to the contact phone number and then we we are just adding it to a list and if the list size is greater than zero then we are just updating that list so uh, this is the code and now we will see actually how it works like we will just go to account we will create a new account for an example test we'll just click on save so as soon as i have saved the record so that this account detail account record has been created and a contact record also has been created and the contact as you can see As you can see the contact last name is test abc and the account name is test abc which we have recently created and the same code we have written like uh, to map these fields here and then uh, we will go to that particular account which we have created now only and as you can see on an example on account we don't have any phone number and in contact also for that particular contact which is created from that account there is no phone number as of now
this is the phone number is planned so we will just update this phone number to we'll just save it and now we will refresh it so as soon as we have updated that accounts phone number so the child or the co related contacts phone number should be updated so this is what we are trying to achieve from this uh, piece of code which we have written on after trigger so that's all thank you